Thank you for the introduction. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you for your interest and welcome to the webinar on FDA product specific guidances, lighting the development pathway for generic drugs, organized by the Office of Generic Drugs, OGD, in CEDAR, in collaboration with SBIA. I'm Lei Zhan, Deputy Director of the Office of Research and Standards, ORS, in OGD. ORS is leading the FDA's product specific guidance program, which is composed of collaborative efforts from multiple disciplines and offices within the FDA. This is the first ever webinar that explains FDA's product specific guidance PSG program in depth. What is a PSG? By its name, PSG, it is a guidance contains product specific recommendations by identifying the methodology for developing generic drugs and generating evidence recommended to support ENDA approval. A PSG could also include a key science and research output. PSG reflects the FDA's current thinking and expectations on how to develop a generic drug product therapeutically equivalent to a specific reference list drug, or ILD. PSG is unique to the generic drug development program. PSG is also an integral part of the FDA's ENDA program. As shown in this diagram, outcomes from gadufa funded research have helped to develop and improve our standards and guidances, including PSGs for generic drug development. PSGs, along with pre-ENDA meetings and control correspondences, are part of the pre-ENDA program that play a critical role in communicating to the generic drug applicants before ENDA submissions to facilitate generic drug development. PSGs also assist ENDA assessors to conduct ENDA reviews. How do you know the best current B approach for a product? As a starting point, the regulations governing BE are provided at 21 CFR Part 320. FDA also published general guidances to lay out the BE recommendations, such as guidance for industry on bioequivalence studies with pharmacokinetic endpoints for drugs submitted under an ENDA. Additionally, PSGs provide product-specific recommendations for developing generic drugs and generating the evidence needed to support approval. One thing to note is that PSGs are only applicable to generic drug applications or ENDAS, although other types of applications may use BE principles or BE approaches as laid out in the PSGs. FDA has started to publish PSGs since 2007, about 14 years ago, to provide clear and direct recommendations to end applicants. As of April 2021, approximately 1,900 PSGs are issued and included in the PSG database on the FDA PSG website. The database has been enhanced over the years to include various searchable functions and data are exportable to an Excel or other data formats. You will learn more details about the PSG website in this webinar. The GDUFA 2 commitment letter introduces criteria that are used to define a product as complex such as a product with complex active ingredients, complex dosage forms, complex formulations, complex routes of delivery, complex drug device combination, or other complexity. These complex products are typically harder to develop and may need novel approaches for BE assessment. 
GADUFA 2 introduces the pre enda program with a specific focus to have an enhanced mechanism to assist the industry for complex product development through science and research, guidance development, pre enda meetings, and controlled correspondences. A new commitment on the PSG timeline of GADUFA 2 since October 2017 is to issue PSGs for at least 90% of new drug approvals for non-complex new chemical entities at least two years prior to the earliest lawful ENDA submission date, so that guidance can be provided to ENDA applicants early during their drug development. And the FDA has fulfilled this commitment since GADUFA 2. For complex products, FDA strives to issue PSGs as soon as scientific recommendations are available. Details on the PSG program related to non-complex products and complex products will be covered later in this webinar. How PSG help generic drug development? First, timely PSGs help to enable access to generics in all product categories because providing guidances early to the applicants can improve efficiency and quality of generic product development, leading to less review cycles for generic drug approvals and enabling patient access to high quality and affordable medications. Timely PSGs can also help FDA to manage the pre enda meeting capacity for complex products because FDA may not need to grant a pre enda meeting if there's a PSG in place and applicant is not proposing an alternative PE approach, and thus enable FDA to manage the resources better. Second, timely PSGs help to optimize ENDA assessments for all product categories. Coordination between PSG development and ENDA assessments by incorporating what's learned from ENDA assessments into guidance recommendation and keeping scientific guidance up to date are important not only to assist generic drug development, but also for ENDA assessment and regulatory decision making. As mentioned earlier, besides PSGs, pre enda meetings and control correspondences are additional resources that ENDA applicants can utilize to help generic drug development, either due to lack of a PSG, to propose alternative BE approaches to PSG recommendations, or when additional clarification from the FDA is needed. This diagram shows the number of new revised and final PSGs that FDA issued from fiscal year 2013, which is the beginning of GADUFA 1, to fiscal year 2020. FDA typically issued more than 100 PSGs every year. In some years, more than 200 PSGs were issued. For example, in fiscal year 2020, FDA issued 107 new guidances 149 revised guidances, and two final guidances. In these eight years, a total of 1,558 PSGs were issued, and 640 or 41% of these PSGs are for complex products. FDA continues to improve the PSG program with several ongoing efforts. FDA commits to develop new PSGs in a timely manner with a goal date on PSGs for newly approved drugs that are non-complex new chemical entities since GADUFA 2. FDA provides transparency through PSG development and revisions to incorporate FDA's latest science-driven thinking and understanding for assembling evidence in support of generic drug applications to improve efficiency and the quality of generic product development. In 2019, FDA launched a new website that provides information regarding plans for new and revised PSGs for complex generic drug products in the coming year to 
to further enhance transparency to the industry for proper planning. The forecast lists on the website are being updated on a quarterly basis. The webinar today is being offered as part of FDA's Drug Competition Action Plan, DCAP, which aims to increase competition and make it easier and more efficient for drug developers to bring more generics into the marketplace, while maintaining FDA's high standards for quality and scientific rigor. From today's webinar, you will learn general principles of PSGs, the process of how PSGs are developed and revised, how FDA communicates current thinking and expectations on generic drug development through PSGs, and how PSGs and other pre-submission communications facilitate generic drug development and generic drug application assessment. Here is a layout of today's agenda. You will not only learn some fundamental information related to PSGs, such as an overview of the PSG program, but also have a deeper dive into PSGs with practical advice on how to use PSGs to assist generic drug development, such as PSGs for non-complex products, PSG for complex products, PSG fundamentals from a clinical perspective, developing and implementing science-based standards in BE assessment, and BE regulations and PSGs. OIS Director Dr. Rob Leinberger will deliver the closing remarks. Following all these presentations, towards the last hour of this webinar, you will have an opportunity to ask questions during the panel discussion and Q&A session. You may start to send questions through the Q&A box during the presentations. We look forward to your active participation. Finally, I would like to thank today's speakers and panelists for planning and delivering this informative webinar. I hope you will enjoy and get most out of this webinar. Thank you.